All right, folks, this is going to be a little bit of kennel fire update. Today's model is Jadzia. Uh, luckily, all her puppies were already picked up. See it. See it. Uh, look at the camera. Anyway, I may have made a mistake. Will you quit? Uh, by asking the newspaper to come out and try to do a story. That's hence the title of this video. Are you willing to pay five to ten thousand dollars for a puppy? Now you say, what does that got to do with the newspaper? I sure got the impression from this reporter, he was liberal, and because the wiring wasn't done by a certified electrician, even though I'm a ham radio operator, got lots of experience in electricity, because I'm not state certified, it doesn't count. All right? A lot of questions. What was your certification? What's your certification? So, I assume that this is going to be a hit piece. This is going to be like dogs die in puppy mill fire. Well, you know, did you look at the, the dog house that burnt down? What puppy mill builds a doggy condo? But, back to the title of this story. Five to ten thousand dollars. Now, it would be perfectly happy. I would love to build these little guys a Taj Mahal. They could have a television in each of their little kennels. They could, I could hire some people to come in and be their daily masseuse. They make sure everybody gets a massage. Would you like that idea? Yeah, you get a massage anyway. See, she likes her massages. So, are you ready to pay that? Because under the liberal media, to be a dog breeder, you're going to have to build your dogs a Taj Mahal. And for y'all out there that want to be liberals, look at the price of a puppy. Anything other than a mutt that's been thrown out on the street. And this is going to cause more dogs to be thrown out on the street. Because nobody's willing to pay that. Nobody is willing to pay five to ten thousand dollars for a puppy. So this is where it's going. This is what I see when I just talk to a liberal press media. And I'm happy to do it. I am perfectly happy to build these guys a palace. We could hire the construction team from Donald Trump to build them a Mar-a-Lago. But guess what? Somebody's got to pay for that. I'm perfectly happy to do it. If, if y'all are willing to pay five to ten thousand dollars per puppy, I know lots of breeders that would love to do that. We would love to build it. Yeah, I could build the the biggest Doggy palace you ever seen? How about how about indoor swimming pools? Yeah, little little swimming pools that are like uh, maybe a foot and a half deep, the size of a Olympic pool, so they can all jump in there and play. What do you think, Jadzia? You think you think the humans will will buy that for you? The liberal the liberal media seems to think that's what we have to do now. So. I mean, your puppies might as well, you might as well poop gold. But that's that's why I've titled this video Five to Ten Thousand Dollars, maybe more. I mean, how fancy a doghouse do you want me to build? If you want to pay for it, sky's the limit. We'll get, uh, we'll get some of those contractors from over in Iraq that built a uh, Saddam Hussein's palace over there. Well, we'll just build it for the dogs. I don't care. If that's what the liberal people want, I will give it to them. But they have to be able to pay for it. I can't afford it. I live 
in something that's now turned into a doghouse. You know, I had their doghouse where they were in it and had specialized equipment. They thought it was a palace. It did, it did have an Alexa in it that played doggy music. You know, they, they was this, uh, there's this channel on Amazon called uh, Music for Dogs. Look it up. And uh, th I had that in there. They had air conditioning and heat. And it wasn't done by a certified electrician. You know, even though I can know that 10-gauge wire is what's needed to go to a heater and 10 gauge wire is went to the uh, uh, what do you call it the air conditioner and everything else may have been only on 12 gauge uh, wire but that wire was all outdoor rated wire and uh, there was no amperage on it you know LED lights there's no amperage for that so uh, yeah I think I just got a hit piece put on me by the local liberal media.